everyone, what's going on? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, I just want to go over a trend that I'm seeing as far as the crypto mining hardware space is concerned. The basic gist of this video is to make sure that you're you're being careful, you're verifying before you go sending anything or any company or any person any money. But first, a word from our sponsor. At risk of sounding like a classic PBS video, today's content was brought to you by viewers like you. Through various means, such as joining the Serpent X Tech channel, as a member that allows you access to our behind the scenes content and Discord, which can be accessed through the membership tab, or by just clicking affiliate and or partner links in our video descriptions, as well as sending a YouTube thanks or super chat on our videos, helps us continue our efforts. And we couldn't thank you enough. So how about we just get back to the video? Sound good? All right, so the first thing I want to start off with is this Tom's Harbor article. Uh, this picture that you're seeing in front of you is from New Miner. It's a new ASIC that they're claiming. And it actually claims to be uh, an ASIC that provides 440 terahash of Bitcoin mining hash rate. And that's very odd to me because we know all the top ASICs and the hash rate is, is double what we typically see in the market. The only problem is that the new device is clearly the Cerebrus CS2 system with New Miner's branding Photoshop on it. However, the implication that New Miner is using Cerebrus chips to power their company's NM440 ASIC is clear. And here's the original uh, CS2. And you can see very carefully down here in the bottom that there is a Cerebus logo. Uh, so this person who did a Photoshop did not do a very good job. Um, additionally, Cerebus uh, doesn't have any connection with New Miner or its NM440. It's also made clear that the use of the CS2 design was not approved and the company has no affiliation with them. Now, they did provide a statement to Tom's Hardware saying uh, that we are aware of the startup crypto mining company using a misappropriated altered image of the Cerebus CS2 product for their own business purposes. This image improperly passes off our CS2 as their own product, as you can see by the Cerebus logo still visible at the bottom of the image. Uh, they are not aware or we are not aware or otherwise um, working or affiliated with this company and they are taking steps to address the situation. Now the website is kind of legit looking I guess you could say, sort of, kind of. Uh, but a big red flag for me is that same ASIC that we see at the top of Tom's Hardware, the product page for it is still there but the, uh, the image has been obviously taken down. Now another article that I bumped into from Bitcoin.com uh, somebody states here that the NM440 reported specs are highly dubious as new miners uh, or NM miners marketing materials. Further, there is very little information on new miners development and the team. As such, we cannot attest to the validity of the product or and would caution our followers against it at the time. So this is just a clear example of people taking other machines, ASICs, devices, GPUs, and then repurposing it, rebranding it, whatever to try to sell off to the market. And we've seen this time and time again, especially an increase during the GPU shortage uh, situation that we're currently in. I've been seeing pop-up websites, storefronts, whatever, that are selling hardware, whether it's GPUs or ASICs, at well below street prices. And people would fall for it, send their money, and then they never get the hardware, and they lose their money because those storefronts would just disappear. Uh, very interestingly, I found these two websites right here that we could see some S19J Pros. And if we look at the websites, they look very eerily similar. Look at the bottom where we have the various tickers going across. we got the chat. It, they're just ba basically the same template to me is what it very it very much looks like. Now, shop-asicminers.com uh, might have a better layout or a better design than the Crypto Mining Max. But a big red flag is, is this S19J, uh, 90 tera hash, is selling for 5700 and a legit company like CryptoMinerBros.com, we can see that the S19J is selling, selling for about 12000 So what you do is you compare, what is this website telling you? What is the price? What is the specs? And then go compare it against other websites. Uh, WhatToMine.com has links to the various top ASIC manufacturers. So if you want to compare pricing there, you can do it. Um, but just be mindful. I mean, they're popping up more and more. Uh, you know, as crypto gains more traction and gains more visibility because the market's going up or whatever, we get more and more scammers. Now, these companies that I'm mentioning may be legit. It's just their marketing is all wrong. Uh, their pricing seems very suspicious. Their website metrics seem very uh, suspicious. And even their specs, for example, 
this website right here called asicmachines.net. I, I bumped into Red Panda Mining or I asked him, I was like, hey, have you ever heard of this company? Uh, do we know anybody that's using their hardware? He said no. And what's very odd to me is is the pricing on some of these, right? So they got one called an AM1, AM2, and then the AM Pro. And the AM Pro, what's odd to me is it says here uh, that it can do Bitcoin 2150 terahash. What? Litecoin 220 gigahash, Ethereum 15 gigahash, Monero uh, 19 megahash, and at 4200 watts. And that that's really quite suspicious because you can see that this is basically a server case with a bunch of GPUs in it, and there's no way that you can mine Bitcoin with GPUs. You would need app, uh, ASICs of some type. Additionally, I've never seen an ASIC be able to mine more than one algorithm. That's why they're called uh, ASICs in the first place. They're very good at doing one thing or mining one particular algorithm. So anyways, I emailed these guys. I have yet to hear back. They do have a phone number and a huge red flag for some people. I haven't called this number, but a huge red flag is when you go to call the number on the website and the number goes to, uh, you know, this line is no longer in service or this number has been disconnected, whatever. That's a huge red flag. So you gotta you gotta try to call them. You try try looking up the number on Google. Try seeing if there's anybody saying you know BBB reports, uh, reporting any spam, fraudulent activity, whatever for that phone number. Try reaching out to them via email. Nine times out of ten, these websites will have a contact us page, but when you go to it, it's just a form. So if you could try to find an actual email, try emailing them directly and saying, hey, you know, I'm interested to see what the what the product is. Can you send me more details? Try to get somebody to actually respond to you like I did with Ibera Tech. Uh, but from my understanding, this company focuses more on working with mid to large scale mining operations, not so much the at-home farmer. But very odd is they have the same chat feature that some of these other websites do. So I'm not sure what the template is that these guys are using. Just make sure that they're a valid retailer, a valid business before you go buying or sending them any money because a lot of these ASIC manufacturers or ASIC retailers will actually accept crypto payments uh, like Ethereum, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash for the hardware. The hard part about that is if you send that money and they say that you're going to come and batch, you know, the first batch in March or whatever and you never get the hardware, there's no way you're getting that money back. You can't file a claim and if you didn't use your credit card or your bank to pay for it, you're just stuck like Chuck and you spent all that money. And I've seen people even get burned on even Alibaba. So it's just be very careful, uh, be very uh, vigilant, and make sure that these manufacturers are legit. Like CryptoMinerBros.com is a legit provider. Uh, they have great, uh, decent prices on the ASIC. A little bit high for my taste, but decent prices on the ASIC. And you won't get burned as you would with some of these pop-up businesses. But that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. That's the main gist is be careful, verify, try to reach out by email, try to reach them out by phone number, try looking up their phone number to make sure, see if any other websites are reporting them for scam, fraudulent activity, whatever it may be. Phishing attempts are picking up, scams are picking up, everything's picking up as crypto gains more attention and to protect yourself, these are some of the things that I would recommend is challenging those retailers to provide additional information before you go sending any money whatsoever. But do me a favor, on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out the links in the description to help support us and what we do here. And you all have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one.